So Rajesh has a question. Hi all, how can we copy Microsoft Teams channel containing videos of size more than 100 gigs to another Microsoft Teams by the PowerShell script since the Graph API can't support large data to copy? I'll claim blonde on this way past my skill set. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're trying to put too much through the pipe. Graph is good for certain things, but um, you know, bulk moving of data is not one of them. So if you go against um, the SharePoint APIs and you can use PowerShell to move it across that way, or Sharon had a wonderful suggestion. No, I think PowerShell is great as well. I think the thing with PowerShell is that you just have to understand the variables of where you're taking it from, where you're making it to. Plus, there's like lots of different commandlets and there's like nuances and variance, variances in all those commandlets, as I found the other day when I was doing a commandlet. And I realized that there was two commandlets that did basically the same thing for two different pieces. So if you don't want to learn every single commandlet in all of PowerShell, you could use a third party tool that has a nice easy button. Well, the other side of that too is if you if you're going to move massive amounts of data, I mean, the system uh, it's an online service, so like you could be throttled as well. There's other problems with that. True. It's one of the reasons why, like, as, as another option or the third-party migration tools, one of the benefits of that is that they're encoded so that Microsoft recognizes when a tool is being an authorized, approved tool has been is being used and does not then throttle. So it could also be the like, what's the volume that Rajesh that you're trying to move. Yeah, we definitely run into throttling quite a bit. We do a ton of migration work and um, we're always running into some sort of throttling issue if we do it with uh, PowerShell or the Windows migration tool or some free version, like we always get slowed down. Yeah, it's worth noting that throttling can occur at multiple points. It's not yeah. a, a single valve. There are probably four or five different points, I think, uh, at which throttling can occur. So yeah, any chance you have to sidestep those, Know, it definitely can help you out. Uh, it's getting, like getting to the front of quicker. the line. You have a yeah. golden ticket. Right. Well, I mean, so the only and the only other way to do that is if you are doing it manually. Is is uh, you know again, this is this is sometimes a bigger hassle than it's worth. But be in touch with Microsoft. Be in conversation. Let them know what you're doing, uh, and so that they can see that traffic. And okay, I see that you're doing that, and uh, and help unblock you. But again, that's what the the third party tools do that. In a more automated fashion, but even then, um, you know, there could be multiple reasons why you could be throttled. I, I heard um, people submit a ticket and let them know. Is that a, is that a real thing? You can. You can submit yeah. a ticket. They'll call you. You can schedule a date. But I'm going to tell you this. Yes, you can. However, it's a very big company, and depending on how much you're doing, uh, they may or may not remember that they told you they'd do that. Size matters. Yeah. If you got yes. a lot of data, you're talking like terabytes, exabytes of data, you definitely want to coordinate with them. But, you know, if you're moving 100 gig across, <laughs> drop in the bucket. Yeah. Agreed.